Hey, today we are looking at Kids Info Bits. This is a really great program. Um, it's essentially like a highly visual encyclopedia intended for uh, K through five students. Um, it has uh, curriculum related content um, covering a huge range of topics. Um, and it's a really great way to introduce uh, students when they're younger to using premium resources. So let's get started with this. We're just going to do some basic things with the program here. So I can either search or I can browse for content here. Um, you can see uh, if I'm going to browse, I can just click on one of these uh, main subjects and then I can go through subtopics from there. So let's do that real quick here. We'll go to this and that's going to bring up a few different options under music and movies. So let's go into music here. So this is going to generate a, another list of um, subcategories essentially that I can choose from. Uh, one of the nice features about this is since it's intended for kids and they're really trying to make sure that um, regardless of their, their level of reading, they can kind of have access to this material. Um, you're going to see a lot of different sound inclusions here where you can kind of hear what the words are if the kid can't pronounce it or if they're not that's not in their vocabulary yet um, so that's a great uh, tool you can also see that let's say we click on this and you can also see that we have these content level keys too right so if I click here it's going to show me that this green Intent, it means that it's a basic level of content, right? So it's accessible for most kids between K and 5. Um, intermediate is going to be a little bit harder. And if we ever see that uh, red triangle, we know that's going to be pretty complicated for kids K through 5, right? Um, content is also sorted by the content type over here. So I can jump directly to biographies, pictures, magazines, news, whatever I want to do. Um, let's... Let's explore Sinead O'Connor's biography. So uh, on the right hand side, you're going to see these uh, tools that are familiar throughout Gale databases. I can download the article, I can print, I can uh, generate a citation here, um, and I can also save this to a user folder. Um, some really great features for this, I can translate the article too into a bunch of different languages. and like we were talking about before, we have that accessibility for kids that aren't quite reading at a super high level but still need to understand the content. We can click here and it's actually going to read the article for us. So we can scan through here, read the article, um, share it, generate a citation. You can see here at the bottom it's already done that for us too, but you can switch it to um, APA and a few other um, citation styles too. Um, now if we go back here, we can do a quick search as well. So let's see. If we do a search, it's going to hop to um, the results screen that we had when we did the browsing essentially, um, but it will incorporate anything that meets the keyword search itself. There is a more advanced search that you can do over here too. Um, that'll allow you to kind of search by different fields if you want to do that. And you can see below here too, we have a bunch of different options for limiting our search as well. Um, so we can also from any article, we can bookmark the page here. And this is a permalink that you can get back to at any point. You can email this out and you can go directly to it. Um, some other great features are um, this will actually sync with uh, Google Classroom, which is something that a lot of schools are using right now, um, and also has the ability to incorporate with um, Microsoft programs. So um, that is Kids InfoBits. Uh, thank you for listening.